Question 1. The primary reason for longer stopping distances with double and triple trailers is A. Increased total weight B. Additional axles C. Air drag from the additional trailers Answer A. Increased total weight The greater the weight, the longer it takes for the vehicle to come to a complete stop. Question 2. When uncoupling rear trailers, you should A. Disconnect the rearmost trailer first B. Disconnect the front trailer first C. Disconnect both trailers simultaneously Answer A. Disconnect the rearmost trailer first. This ensures safety and stability. Question 3. The trailer hand valve should A. Be used in driving B. Never be used C. Be used for parking Answer B. Never be used The trailer hand valve can result in a skid if used improperly. Question 4. To reduce the risk of a rollover, you should A. Drive faster in curves B. Keep the load centered and low C. Brake hard in turns Answer B. Keep the load centered and low Centered and low loads reduce the vehicle's center of gravity, minimizing rollover risks. Question 5. True or false? When driving triples, stability is improved with heavier loads. Answer. True. Heavier loads tend to lower the vehicle's center of gravity, enhancing stability. Question 6. What can prevent trailer jackknife? A. Speeding. B. Following closely behind another vehicle. C. Releasing the accelerator. Answer. C. Releasing the accelerator. By releasing the accelerator, you reduce the power, which can help prevent trailer jackknife. Question 7. Large combinations of vehicles are most at risk of rollover when A. Making sharp turns B. Taking a curve too quickly C. Braking suddenly at a traffic light Answer B. Taking a curve too quickly the high center of gravity in combination vehicles can lead to rollovers if curves are taken too fast. Question 8. True or false? When testing trailer brake connections, tug tests are not essential. Answer. False. Tug tests are vital to ensure that the trailer brakes are connected properly. Question 9. In doubles and triples, the blank trailer should be loaded with the most weight. A. Rear. B middle. C. Front. Answer. C. Front. The front trailer should carry the heaviest load to ensure stability. Question 10. When you see a truck with a no double sign, it means A. The truck is not equipped for double trailers. B. The driver is not qualified to pull doubles. C. The truck is not carrying any doubles at the moment. Answer. A. The truck is not equipped for double trailers. Question 11. Doubles and triples are most vulnerable to blank winds. A. Head. B. Cross. C. Tail. Answer. B. Cross. Crosswinds can push the trailers off course, making it challenging to control the vehicle. Question 12. True or false. Convoy driving with doubles and triples is recommended for safety. Answer. False. Convoy driving can cause multiple large vehicles to react to a single incident, increasing risks. Question 13. When backing with a set of doubles, you should A. Back using the rear trailer. B. Avoid backing whenever possible. C. Always back with both trailers connected. Answer. B. Avoid backing whenever possible. Backing with doubles can be very tricky and risky. Question 14. In a set of doubles, the blank underscore is the most likely to turn over. A. Front trailer. B. Rear trailer. C. Both are equally likely. Answer. A. Front trailer. The front trailer's motion can be exaggerated by actions of the rear trailer. Question 15. True or false? Using the trailer brake can help in straightening out a jackknifing trailer. Answer. True. Applying the trailer brake can help correct a jackknifing situation. Question 16. Which of these should not be a concern when inspecting your doubles or triples? A. Proper coupling. B. 
be the color of the trailers. C. Air brake connections. Answer B. The color of the trailers. The color is not related to the safety or functionality of the trailers. Question 17. Coupling and uncoupling of doubles requires knowledge of A. Connecting airlines. B. Connecting electrical lines. C. Both A and B. Answer C. Both A and B. Proper coupling and uncoupling require both air and electrical connections to be addressed. Question 18. True or false? Doubles and triples are less stable than single commercial trailers. Answer. True. Due to their design, doubles and triples are more prone to rollover and jackknifing. Question 19. You should avoid a blank underscore underscore brake application on slippery roads. A. Gradual. B. Sudden. C. Moderate. Answer. B. Sudden. Sudden braking on slippery surfaces can cause skidding. Question 20. The longer the combination vehicle, the blank underscore the stopping distance. A. Shorter. B. Same. C. Longer. Answer. C. Longer, more length generally means more weight and a longer stopping distance. Question 21. When securing a second trailer, you should use blank underscore safety chains. A. 1. B. 2. C. 3. Answer. B. 2. Two safety chains provide added security when securing a second trailer. Question 22. True or false? It is okay to have one airline disconnected when testing trailer brakes. Answer. False. All airlines need to be connected to ensure proper functioning of trailer brakes. Question 23. The crack the whip effect is most likely in A. Singles B. Doubles C. Triples Answer. C. Triples. The longer the vehicle, the more pronounced the whipping effect can be, especially in triples. Question 24. To avoid rollover, you should keep the load. A. At the sides B. As high as possible C. Low and centered Answer. C. Low and centered. This maintains a low center of gravity, reducing rollover risk. Question 25. True or false? In windy conditions, it's safe to drive doubles and triples at maximum speed. Answer. False. Wind can affect the stability of longer vehicles, so caution is necessary. Question 26. When checking the lights on your doubles or triples, make sure. A. All lights are of the same color. B. Each trailer has functioning turn signals. C. You only check the front trailer. Answer. B. Each trailer has functioning turn signals. Proper signaling is crucial for safety. Question 27. The landing gear should be fully raised and the blank underscore should be locked in place. A. Safety chains. B. Pintle hook. C. Hand valve. Answer. B. Pintle hook. It ensures that the trailers are securely connected. Question 28. True or false? All trailers in a triple combination should have anti-lock brakes. Answer. True. Anti-lock brakes provide better control, especially in emergency situations. Question 29. Before connecting the converter dolly to a second or third trailer, ensure. A. The shutoff valves are open. B. The shutoff valves are closed. C. Only the front shutoff valve is open. Answer. B. The shutoff valves are closed. This ensures air doesn't escape from the brake system. Question 30. A broken suspension component can lead to A. Increased fuel efficiency. B. Vehicle rollover. C. Improved braking. Answer. B. Vehicle rollover. Broken suspension components can cause an imbalance, leading to a potential rollover. 